Hey guys, it is Adam from Encounter Wargaming, and today in this video, we are going to open, review, unbox, whatever you want to call it, and build this Orc Freak Tower from Tabletop Scenics. <laughs> So as you guys know, we are good friends with Tabletop Scenex, the guys over at Cromlech who make terrain, and uh, and they have they have released some really cool new Orc MDF terrain. I highly highly suggest that you guys go check out their website. Um, they they have a whole Orc city series called Orkenberg, and uh, and they've just made some additions to it, and they are very cool. I highly suggest checking it out. So this is the Freak Tower, and the Freak Tower is uh, is basically this this tower on high stilts in in which um, that that exists outside of the normal orc encampment um, and this is where the orc freak lives and the orc freak is basically a psychic power wielding orc um, that they keep in this little prison here <laughs> because he's crazy and dangerous and he only comes out when the clan goes to war and there's this little uh, there's this little chain box here to lower him up and down from the tower and uh, and yeah, and then he'll jump in a truck and be taken over to the front lines to be used as a weapon. So there you go. So that's the the freak tower, um, and so it's it's cool. I mean, we have we have an orc table. Jay did a bunch of trash to to treasure terrain series on on some orc terrain, and uh, and so we got our our troop transmitter, and we have this one right here, the freak tower. I'm going to build up to add to it, and hopefully. Um, just really give some character to that table because right now it's it's kind of a little bit boxy, you know But uh, so that's a good basis, but we definitely need some more stuff with height and uh, And and girth just to block some line of sight and really fill out that table. So guys, that's it. Let's um, Let's open this up check out the frames and um, Start building it. So here it is very impressive building here the orc freak tower. I Oh, I can't wait to see just exactly how tall this thing is. Like it looks like it's gonna be really tall. So, uh, so yeah. So there you go. So that's the freak tower. Um, I also just wanted to show you guys the uh, the orc freak. I um, I just built this up, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you give you a view of that model close up. Nice resin kit. Um, pretty fairly um, decent uh, cleanup and multi-part so the hand was separate this back antenna was separate um and then just like two of the two of the cables were separate but very very detailed like super cool this guy it's almost like he's half a mech boy and half a weird boy um so whatever their their storyline is for the for the freak um it's very cool love this model nice big head super cool so i'll, I'll probably paint him up and uh Show them to you guys at some point as well, and uh, maybe use them in some battle reports. We'll see. But uh, there you go. So that's the freak model that goes with the freak tower. Um, so let's open this. So rule number one with MDF kits: always cut it open on the side with your hobby knife, so that you, so you don't put a big knife gouge in your nice uh, MDF kits. And so there's that. All right. We can take this guy off, and so uh, so the thing with MDF terrain, um, the way it works is a big laser goes by, and uh, and cuts it out. Okay, and the uh, the issue that you run into is there's a lot of leftover dust, so you probably can't see it, but there's a lot of dust that that comes off these things. So we'll just take a damp towel and just wipe this. Um, of course, the other thing that comes in the box is just some uh, this is the instruction booklet. These guys do really awesome detailed color-coded instructions um, step by step the whole way through so they really make it easy to follow and easy to build so you'll, you'll have this to guide you um, but when we get to building this um, I will uh, I'll just walk us through step by step just in case you run into any tricky spots you're unsure about what happens so um, and also just before we wipe like let's just look at these frames man so many so many little pieces such cool little detailing like the uh, the diamond studding here on the metal sheeting, um, man, just even like look the little chain links, very cool. This will probably be the framework for the freak tower or something like that. Very cool. It's like uh, building walls, bigger armor plates. Such great detail in here to cut out all these little bits. 
So it takes longer for the laser, right, when you add more detail like this, but it totally sets the tone. And this is why I'm convinced that these guys do the best MDF train out there right now. They're just, their attention to detail is, is phenomenal. It's unlike, it's unparalleled right now, I think. But, uh, hey, if you, uh, if you think otherwise, you know another good company out there, get them to send us some stuff so we can review it. <laughs> Shameless plug. All right. Very cool. This metal framework stuff to build up the tower is going to look really neat. All right. Looks like more of the scaffolding to hold this thing up. Super cool. I'm very excited for this. Oh, this looks like the base of the peak of the tower. The like hut that's sitting on top. Super cool. Love these like big chunks taken out of the out of the middle of stuff. It's just been like exploded. Very neat. All right, so there's all the frames. So, um, so yeah. So what you do is you just take your take your damp cloth, right, and uh, and just you know just a nice light once over. So you see, this is a perfectly white cloth. Look at all that dust. Oh boy. Yeah, they. They are dirty. They are dirty. And this will help uh, paint adhere um, and uh, it'll help your glue adhere. Because if it, you're always, um, uh, if there's like a layer of dust uh, mediating between those two, you just won't, it won't be as solid. So, all right. So you can go ahead, do this on the whole thing. Do it on both sides as well, front and back. And we'll be right back. All right, so here we are. And now uh, this is a uh, this is a typical MDF kit. So you get this big wooden frame and a whole bunch of pieces kind of stuck in a frame, right? And the way it works is a laser just runs by and makes the shapes, right? And um, so a piece is actually basically fully cut out, and it's only hanging on by tiny little tabs that just need to be cut with a hobby knife, right? So you just find the spots where the laser stopped and just pop those spots. And, oh, there's one more. Okay, and then you have your piece right here. Um, so this piece actually has another frame inside, right? They try and optimize the, of, the amount of space that uh, the pieces you can get on one sheet. So you'll often see stuff like this, right? Where one piece has another frame in the middle. So like that's your piece, but this is also like a frame of pieces too. Okay, so there you go. So that's the basis here for step number one. So go ahead and uh, and cut out step um, pieces um, one to five on frame A, and that's step one. And we'll get them all laid out, and I can talk about basic assembly, and then we can start rolling through these steps. Okay, so go ahead, cut out um, all of step uh, pieces one to five. And we're back with all our pieces cut out. And uh, the final thing you want to do before you start gluing is uh, sometimes when you cut them out, just like when you cut a plastic uh, piece out of a um, out of a sprue, there will be a little piece of flash there, right? And so you can just scrape that off, make it nice and flat. Now, um, this will both help clean up uh, the pieces on the outside so you don't see those bits, but it also sometimes um, pieces will line up and uh, and those little bits of flash will actually make it so it's a little bit kinked. And so, yeah, so cleaning up the flashes is important, right? And so you wanna go ahead and do that on all your pieces, all the flash. This is basically one of the only pieces on the outside. So that one's very important. Um, this one won't matter. And so there you go. So we're pretty much good to go. Now, for building MDF terrain, you uh, you, you you can use super glue. That's what I'm gonna use, cause it'll just help uh, help tack faster for the recording process but you can use white glue um it's a little better on the fingers like i'm gonna get super glue all over my hands as i do this because because of that but it's just gonna make this filming process a lot quicker um so yeah so you can use super glue but uh, you can also use white glue so feel free to have some fl flexibility like i said the benefit of the super glue is it's gonna tack faster for me so i'll be able to build it faster um but it'll be messier white glue um it's cleaner uh and yeah, so there you go. Um, but it'll take longer to tack. All right, so here we go. So piece number 1A, this is what we're gonna build on top of, okay? And uh, we got some walls. We're starting to put up the walls here. Let's clean that little bitty up. Okay, and it looks like, and this is pretty common for these uh, these Cromlec kits. Oh yeah, and always dry fit, All right? So that looks, that looks pretty good. Um, 
Now it looks like this piece goes behind. This is pretty standard for Cromlet kits, right? Creating depth um, by just using multiple layers for pieces, okay? And so we'll just get a little bit of glue on the outside. And then uh, try and line it up. So you have this laser line here that'll help you line this up and uh, be pretty accurate with it. Okay, so there you go. And now, get this cool detail piece. So we'll get a little bit of glue on there. Um, oops, make sure you poke out all the pieces from the middle of it that aren't supposed to be on there. So we'll get rid of that guy. And then he just drops in there. Beautiful. Kind of fit it nice and evenly in the middle. All right. And so now, these two pieces are going to line up together, it seems, side by side. Okay. Um, so always check like what edges are actually touching. So for this one, it's this bottom edge here. And then this side of this tab. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down this corner. There's not as much of a joint, but it's going to help with stability. And then I'll also put glue in this one. I can put these together at the same time. And they can help hold each other up. Um, okay. First one, second one, bam, there it is. So let's cut out the pieces for the next step and we'll see you in a second. Okay, so we've cut out all the walls. Um, I cut out three steps worth of stuff and so let's just go ahead and do that. Um, ah, so basically it's what you've already seen. You can go ahead and uh, stick all these walls together. Careful thing to look out for is just just really look at the picture for what kind of orientation they should go in, um, just in case it really really matters later. Um, it may not at all, but it also might. So, as I've learned with these kits, these guys are, are very intentional. They're very smart with what they're doing, and I'm not that smart, and so I do have to make sure I follow the directions, um, or also miss an important detail um, that matters and affects construction. So. Follow the directions. Um, like that so glues on this edge. All right. Alrighty, see a little bit of glue here. Okay, so I may, because so all these walls are pretty much the same, may let you guys finish that out. Oh, just a quick note for this one. The tiny box is in the bottom right corner, okay? Just a quick note on that. Again, I don't know if it, if it really, really matters, but I have found that sometimes it really, really does. So, um, so there you go. Okay, so go ahead, get all the walls around, um, and then that'll have enough time for this to dry. We'll come back, we'll glue these little boxes onto the edge of that. See you in a sec. And the walls are on, so let's put these boxes on. Pretty simple construction here. Should be able to figure this out. So just, they kind of just plug into the wall. Here. And, uh, so one piece on each side. All right, and then these pieces kind of lay across the top like that and slot in nicely right there. Very cool, very simple, but effective design. Love it, guys. <clears throat> and next one, easy peasy. Um, all right, so one, two, uh, 
I'm excited to get the roof on this thing. We are one step away from that. Very exciting. Cool. There's that. So let's pull out uh, some of the decorative pieces to, to jazz up the wall here and the roof next, and we'll get going. Okay, we got a bunch of pieces here. Um, so I think what we'll start with first is the more complicated one. So we'll try and get this roof on. And it's just gonna be tough to line up. So 20. Okay. Yeah, there's a little note on dry fitting. It's about, it's not about this piece. It's about a different piece. Um, cool. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I could just get this on and I'll just put the glue on from the inside. Getting bits of glue from all over my hand. Who knows where? All right. So we got that in. So now I'll just drop glue in the corner all the way around the edge of that. Mm -hmm. It's like so hard to get it on. I'm going to take it off now. All right, that works. That's more like a weld than it is a glue. <laughs> Sweet. Awesome. Okay. Um, so also in that stage, uh, we have this kind of piece coming around the door. This one. Okay. So that seems... Oh my goodness. Just realized I put this the wrong way around. <laughs> oh no. Let's see if I can pop out just that one. I think I'm in trouble. Oh, yes. <laughs> My bad, my bad. So you see the wonders of building terrain and being specific about how things go on. Uh, okay. Hopefully this doesn't become too challenging. That's the right way now. Okay. Well, I was doing all right with keeping the glue off my hands, but now I'm definitely covered. So, but at least we fixed a major mistake. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Center that up around the door frame. Beautiful. All right. And so now this is cool. Uh, flat uh, piece here um, that just has a nice multi-layered part to it. You can line it up with a nice laser line there. It's a guide. It's like a guideline. Cool. Okay. And now this is like a front door <laughs> step kind of thing. Very cool. All right, now this will just uh, plug in right here. Awesome. Looks great. 
Uh, okay, so now it's pretty simple. I mean, I think you just you just put on a, a bunch of these outer pieces. Um, so you got all these. Just let's just go ahead and uh, and put them all the way around. So it did say a quick note to um, to dry fit this one with this one because they will compete for space, right? And I might even take this one to see what's going on here. Okay. There, yeah. So even this third piece too is helpful for getting it on there. Awesome. So I think I'll start with this guy. And I'll have some glue ready on this one too. And I'll do them at the same time. So it's really handy to have little notes like that. So thank you guys for putting that note in there. And then this guy right beside. Beautiful. Okay, so the rest I think you can do um, on your own fairly easily. So just go ahead and put these four pieces uh, all the way around and we'll come up for the nice decorative top piece. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Cut out the top piece. <laughs> this just you know, pretty simple step. There's nothing to it, but I just, it's so satisfying to see it come together. Just had to put it on camera, of course. And so, great. Not bad. Awesome. So this is a pretty sizable box. Like that'll, that'll hide a squad of infantry around it for sure. So that's a, uh, it'll be decent for 40 K purposes. Um, before we get to this top part that doesn't block much line of sight, but it's, it's a very cool element of the of the terrain feature. So, um, yeah, I guess we're on stages eight, nine, and ten, and this will basically be us building up the framework um, that everything rests on. And uh, so, yeah, let's just get to it. There's a lot of pieces here, um, a lot of stuff to keep in order and match up together, and so we'll have to create a system together to make sure we stay on track. And so leave that there and probably what I'll do is create four rows because there's four sides to this thing and uh, yeah <laughs> lay out lay out pieces as best I can let's see what we can do and here we are with the first set of struts um, so brilliant design nice two layers each to create uh, to create some depth and texture um, and so why don't you go ahead and what well what I did was I did 35 36 37 uh, through 42 and yeah, so then it just went order and kept them in order. So um, this will connect with this, this will connect with this, and this will connect with this. Um, and then this end will connect with this end. So there you go. So that's my, that's my way of sorting this so I don't get them out of order. Um, so why don't you go ahead and glue these, all these together um, so that we have a framework for building off of. All right. All right, well, I'm not 100% sure, but I realized I can probably build this thing. Um, without actually attaching it to the tower yet. And so let's uh, go ahead and stick some glue on. I'm actually going to do two pieces on two different sides to give some structure and stability. Oops. All right. Uh. Okay. So this guy, goes like the, like so, All right? And this guy, goes like so. Okay, so that starts it. Oh. Sticking my fingers a little bit. Okay, so let's make sure that's stable. Yeah, sweet. So that's really going to help. Just having that foundation is like phew, awesome. Okay, so now we can just stick some glue in those slots and attach the other guys. 
and I should uh, have the orientation right because I went and looked at the images to see how they're all laid out. It should be pretty close. There we go. There we go. Very cool designs. <laughs> this is so sweet. All right, let's keep plugging away. Okay, glue all over. And now let's just plug and play. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so there's the basis of our framework. I love that it's so curved. Oh, it's so, yeah, this is sweet. Super happy with this. All right, so let's cut out our next set of pieces, line them up in rows again, and attach them to this guy. Okay, I'm ready to go here. I've cut them out and I've glued them together already. And uh, so it's time. Um, so again, orientation is just really something you're going to have to figure out using the images um, to the best of your ability. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep glue um, similar to the way I did last time on the bottom and then on one of these sides for as much stability as possible as I put these first pieces on the framework here. And so always start with your, your solid pieces. Okay. And then you can add these guys. Okay. There we go. And so this third, this tiny piece is really, really is the key to like holding it all together, and making it solid. There, look at that. Brilliant. Okay, so now we can just go ahead <coughs> and uh, stick on the other guys all in a row. Because now the framework is going to hold itself on. Brilliant. <coughs> Um, but hard to tell which way it goes. We'll just try. Oh, <laughs> that just fit right in. I guess it goes that way. Uh, and this one definitely goes this way. All right. This side, fatter ones. There's only two of them. Good. Keep that orky inconsistency going. Uh, hmm, say, oh, maybe the other way. Just pinch it together at the top and hold it for a minute. Um, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Sweet. We're getting we're getting there with this thing. It's starting to build up. Very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and cut out the next set. We're ready to go. The next sets are cut out and glued together. And uh, I've already dabbed the glue on the four corners there. I got ahead of myself. And uh, so we'll get our flat pieces as well. I'll line them up together. And let's make sure I have this going the right way. Yeah, so this guy yeah, this guy goes here. Mhm. Mm this guy goes here. Oops. Ah. 
challenges of the Freak Tower. But hey, it's worth it for the sweet terrain. Okay, let's try that again. See if we can balance a little bit better. And... Um, actually, I think it's this piece over here. It's going to go in this spot. To hold it in. Sweet. Oh, yes. See, once you get that piece in, it makes it so much more stable. This guy as well. Beautiful. And the last side. Too easy. Okay, let's that, that. Oh boy, <laughs> it's getting tall. Amazing, I love this. It's really nice, lean over there, leaning tower of Pisa. Rugged orc construction, fabulous. All right, let's get the next pieces out and get them going. And we're on our last set of struts. This is exciting. This freak tower is getting tall. <laughs> um, all right, so. Let's see here. How are we going to orient it? Well, let's get our glue on the top bits. And then it is going to be... Hmm. Hmm. This piece. Let me get this in better orientation for you guys. So this, yeah, I think it's going to go like that. Okay, so then let's get some glue going. All right. Oh, boy. Steady. Grab our stability piece. Oops. Fall apart. Hold it together. Yes. There we go. All right. Looking good. We made it, folks. We made it. Cool. Beauties, looking good. And the last three pieces. Wow, I'm impressed. Thought this was going to be much harder. But hey, not bad, eh? Watch it just all fall apart now in my hand. <laughs> all right. Beautiful. Look at that. Just fit together there. Amazing. Woo! It is tall. Like, that's very tall. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to have to reorient the camera so that we can um, have better visibility because we're starting to run out of camera space here. But uh, this is great. I'm, I'm super excited. So what we're going to do now is start cutting out the pieces to form um, the kind of hut on top of the tower. So let's go ahead 
and do that while this thing kind of dries up a little bit. So we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've decided we'll build most of the hut on the ground here as much as we can um, before we have to assemble everything. So I'll just leave those pieces in the background. And so we got the floor piece here cut out. Okay, we'll just get some glue. Go in there and line it up as best you can. Sweet, looking good. Amazing. And then we have a couple of the walls. So, from what I can tell, these two walls. All right. Um, yeah, it looks good. So this doorway, you guys know what these doorways are like. Uh, two tier. Line them up with the pre-cut laser line on the backing door. And then, we can plop in this door and kind of center it. And then it looks like we got some door handles. Pretty cool. Sweet, and blam, it is, that looks cool, uh, okay, so now we can put uh, glue on the little tab because it has a floor that it can stick to that's not my green cutting mat, <laughs> uh, sweet, let me make sure I have this going the right way. Um, yeah, it looks right. All right. So, and then just a little bit right here. Amazing. Okay, so that's the start of our little hut. So now we're going to pull open, uh, pull apart the rest of the walls and then start putting the finishing pieces on the outside of it. So let's get that going. All right, so we got uh, the rest of the walls here and let's just start gluing them in. So two of these have uh, extra bits on the back. So we got this cool uh, oval shaped great window. Amazing. And then this guy, this is crazy. Uh, I don't know what you call this. Just an orc window. <laughs> it's almost like a stained glass type of thing. It's like orc stained glass. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm, and a big piece down there. And there it is, eh? Uh, yeah, this one, yeah, it goes like this. Okay. Just had to make sure I had my orientation right. Put some glue on it. Oh, see, maybe I don't have my orientation right. What's going on here? Uh, ah. This one actually goes here. That's what's going on. So let's get a piece of glue down there. Okay. And this piece goes like this. Awesome. Cool. Oh, neat little hut. Love it. 
Uh, Alright, so the next sta stage is going to be putting all the facings around this, the, the detailed facing instead of just these flat panels. And so let's cut all those out and we can make this look pretty. Okay, I've got them all cut out and laid out around here. Um, some cool stuff, most of it, uh, most of it just plug and play. And um, yeah, so let's start, start with that. And so, just glue all these pretty walls down. Line, trying the best to line them up. Okay. This big hole in the wall. <laughs> um, this one has like an extra little split here, and so that goes down on the bottom edge, if you're wondering. And that's so it can fit over the balcony edge there. Um, cool. And then these ones actually go with the spike ends down, whereas on this piece, the spike ends went up. Um, so yeah, so just watch it for that. It took me a second to figure that out. <laughs> Center that up there. And while we're here, we may as well put on these guys as well. Just build out this window frame. This is actually two layers. It really sticks out. Oops, stuck to my finger. All right, cool. Neato. Um, <coughs> this one. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's put the glue on this side of it. All right, and the last one over here. Finish off this cool window. Yeah. All right, now the door bit is pretty cool. So the door, door has like this metal bar <laughs> preventing him from getting out any other way and they force him to come out this way through the through the cage door there, right? So, just prep some glue right there. Put this on perfectly between the rivets so we're not blocking the door handles from going on. Okay. And let's get some glue in each of those little holes and stick the door handles on. Awesome. That's sweet. All right. So now there's a couple interior um, pieces that will get organized. So let's cut out all the pieces for the interior and uh, I'll be right back. All right. So it looks like we got a little cot and what I think is a little toilet. <laughs> so awesome. Why not? Uh, okay. Oops. Get that going. Just two little stands for the cot. All right. I don't really know where it goes in here. We'll figure it out in a second, but you know, something like that, I guess. And let's see how this toilet goes together. <laughs> Can't believe it. Brr, I actually put a toilet. That's how you know, guys. 
are having way too fun, too much fun at their job. I've got time to sit there and design little MDF toilets. All right. Oops. Let's get that on camera for you. Simple box design. Mm -hmm. I'll just put some glue on the inside corner. Okay. Ooh. Fabulous. There he is. And the toilet seat. Right here. Amazing. Amazing. Probably goes somewhere in there. Yeah, something like that. Why not? Well, let's uh, let's see what's coming up next. So the next is creating this uh, long pipeline, um, almost like stepladder thing. And uh, it's a series of pieces from 115 all the way to 121. And so 115 consists of a sheet of five pieces. It's so like a main piece of pipe two little pieces of pipe that are going to glue on either side to give it uh, depth and dimension and then these plugs uh, that'll go on either side to help them all connect together all the way up um, so what i'm going to do i have them laid out is i'm actually just going to cut them out and glue them all together each as uh, little ones as like is a, each as a complete set um, and then what i'll do is is uh, we'll walk through gluing them all together um, together so <laughs> yeah so there you go so so go ahead and just like set up each individual piping and then we'll work on assembling the whole thing um, together on camera so there you go let's do that and we're back you see I've, I've changed the camera orientation and I've kind of dry fitted um, uh, how this is all gonna go together here and so I think I'm ready to glue these on because really to assemble these pieces um, this kind of step ladder thing we're gonna we're gonna have to glue it together now so let's 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 do that I guess and so uh, yeah this will just cover the bottom here and glue nice and thick and they actually fit into the four big cracks um, in the base here so there you go Actually, there's a spot where it fits in nice and snug, and so kind of, I guess you can aim for that spot. Um, get some glue on the top here, the top of the house. And we want this door over the front door, or this, uh, I guess, this wall opening. <laughs> it's not much of a door, but. Beautiful. Okay, so that's together. And now, somehow, we are going to get these up and connecting into that wall, I believe. So, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's tough to see exactly how to construct this, but we're going to do our best. Um, and, yeah. I think that it definitely looks like it connects into this section of the wall right here. And so this final piece actually is like something like that. Um, but it's hard to say exactly. And it's, uh, you know, it's, so it's going to be tough to, to really get it to get a true dry fit. I guess I could get some blue tack or something. Um, I don't really know if I have blue tack. Maybe I could tape them. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess really like any orientation, because I guess the height won't really matter. It's just a matter of spinning it back. here once it's uh, in place. Okay, well, well, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just make a cool ladder then. Why not? So instead of gluing it to the bottom first, we'll just, uh, just glue them to each other. How about that? And we'll just go all sorts of random directions until we're like, Barp, that's a bad idea. <laughs> so, have fun with it. Okay. Looking cool. Take some liberties. Don't know exactly where we're going. Well, it's certainly going to be a fragile piece of terrain. <laughs> Oh boy. I just put a lot of glue on these joints. isn't totally flat. I can't really tell why. Where? Okay. Yeah, I like that. Means you end up. Hmm. Dang it. Split it here again. Stay. There's only one more now. Don't doesn't seem high enough, but who knows? Okay, so, oh yeah, it totally is high enough. Um, it's just not straight enough. <laughs> Shoot. Uh. Let's see, how do we adjust? Oh boy, this is way off. What happened there? Oh, one of these. Oh boy. Okay, so let's get the hobby knife and flatten that one out. That was like making it, making, one of them was making it lean way out. Hmm. again. Okay, that's a little more straight up and down. Maybe more likely to hit our target this way. While still having a cool shape. I'm gonna put glue on the. Uh oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm ready. I'll put glue on the bottom. And it fell apart. Uh, 
Okay. So I have glue on the bottom. Let's get glue on this side and see if touching it to the building and the floor helps with stability. Oh my gosh. It's there. We're committed. It's touching. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oops. I kicked the camera. Let's get it back. Okay. I don't even know if you could see what I was doing. That was so intense. But there we go. I think I got it on. <laughs> no, just never touch it ever. Um, well, there's a whole bunch of these little steps now. Right here. That we can uh, put on. I love it. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's just start putting them, uh, let's just, yeah, let's just take, take some chances. Just start, put them on and see what happens. So like, I guess he would come on, this would be the, hmm. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. It's almost, it's almost two per, so let's start low. And work our way up. What's going on here? All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, all right, cool. Let's hmm, let me put it on this side. Didn't say it had to make sense. He's a freak. He's an orc freak. <laughs> Just like try to think about planning these steps and being like, this is very dangerous. This is not how you want to get into a building. Or out of one. Okay. Maybe even put one on this side. This is so random. I love it. All right, stay. There's a big one here. Oh, it's so fragile. Go, go, go. Okay, good. Now, let's keep it going. And 
Nice. So I got one, two, three, four left. So that's like one, two, three, four. Yeah, that looks good to me. Actually, here, let's put this on right. Oh, no. Can't go there. They only fit on one side of the uh, cross, the way they piece together. I wish, I wish it would fit both orientations, but there's just a slightly different shape. Like this way, or like on the side this way. I could maybe get in there with a hobby knife and cut them, but... Yeah. This is so cool. All these little things just really make it come together. It's awesome. All right, there's all the steps. Wow, guys, we did it. It was it was an adventure, but we completed the ladder. Wow. Good luck doing it on your own. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. I don't know if I gave you any good strategy or not, but you know, we learned something. So I think what looks like is next is the roof for the top of this guy. Um, so we can assemble a lot of that separately down here, but let's go ahead and cut out those pieces and we'll be right back. And we're back. And so, uh, here is the frame for the roof and I did have trouble figuring out exactly how this these two pieces line up and what I what I'm thinking is that these two shapes should possibly match in their orientation so the long edge with the long edge the point the, the fifth point on the um, on the shape with the fifth point on the shape and then yeah we'll just see how it goes uh, so um, and these guys fit in with this nook at the bottom, okay? Um, so let me actually clean off the end of my glue. <laughs> All the sawdust makes it build up on the end. All right, cool. Oh, it flows so much better now. Totally worth it. So let's glue up two of these at a time. <clears throat> All right. And get in there. Get in there. Okay, and then, voila, cool, and so now I bet I can just stick glue on each of these and be good to go. Let's go all the way around. Mm-hmm. All right, not bad. Actually, <laughs> you, you see, once we get a little further along, the, the like the shaping of this hut is just so cool. So much character coming out of this thing. All right. Okay, last two. Oh, last two. Oh, I'm missing some. That's all right. We'll get them out. There 
There it is. Okay. Well, come here, pieces. Oh, they're already cut. But perfect. Great. There we go. There's the framework for it. So now let's cut out. Um, yeah, let's cut out the uh, the roof bits. So and then put them on. And here we are. You'll see. I've cut them all out and it just, it took me a while to just dry fit and figure out where they all went um, because they're all kind of a weird shape. And so basically my strategy was to cut them out in the same order as the picture and then just rotate it until it fit right. And it was pretty, um, what, what helped was that these are at different spacings. So there's like one really wide gap, a skinny gap, you know, medium, two medium size and another skinny um, gap between the pieces there. And so that was, that was a helpful that was a helpful tool for me. And so now, um, now I know how they're going to go. So you can take them off and just throw some glue down the length of it and then put them back on. That's the beauty of dry fitting. Um, and they fit, they fit real nice. It's good. It's a good snug fit all around. The seams between, uh, between like where they connect here are pretty good. Um, so yeah, have fun with that. <clears throat> cool. So there you go. So that's an example of one. So just dry fit them and then pull them off and glue them on. So I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, just put glue on all these and, um, and then we'll start doing the crazy uh, crane mechanism that lowers and, and draws up his little cage elevator. Let's do that. So I got so ambitious, I just went ahead and put together this little squeaky guy. Basically, he's, uh, you know, five pentagon shapes here. Um, and then two halves of a nice detailed laser cut squiggy dude. You can see that. So you glue the two halves together and then you stick the arrows in the side. This is very simple. Um, and then this thing goes uh, on the top of this house right here. So very cool. Just kind of seal, seal the top. Nice. And it's, it's supposed to be the, the rooster wind direction thing, right? It's super cute. Love it. So let's get some glue on there. Get our uh, rooster squig down. All right, there he is. Woohoo! Um, so now there's like this, uh, the yeah, the crane, the arch for the crane. So let's grab all the pieces for that. And we're back here, all the pieces. And this is a pretty cool mechanism um, right here. So you got this frame as well as some, uh, uh, I don't know what do you call them, spools? Nah, that's not it. Coils? Nah, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so let's start off with the uh, the base of it all. Um, so these just kind of push in right here. Pretty cool. Pretty simple. And let's get it going on the other side too. All right. And this creates the basis for our little crane device. Very cool. Okay. And actually here, let's do this one as well. This top piece. There we go. Cool. All right. So now these circles here, um, all stack together, right? So you got these little guys. They are surrounded by the bigger dudes and I'll try and get them right because you got to poke something through the middle of them so I want to make sure they're in line there's no play 
Try and be as accurate as possible here. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. So there's one. Now we'll just do the other one. Stack them up. Oh, I think we're getting a little off here. I can't do some micro adjustment. Ah. Okay. That it is. So the bigger ones, the bigger circles go in the back. Um, okay, let's stick some glue in here. Oops. And try and line things up. So got one of these little dudes who We'll stick in through the middle. Just use them to line it up right now. But <laughs> almost there. Come on. Bah. Poke through. So close. Maybe we can come through this side. Let's try it out. Oh, make a little more progress. Push. Ah, there we go. Nice. So it sticks out a little bit. And then we can get this little one going. And maybe we'll get going out the other side just for some variety cool very neat awesome and somehow <laughs> figure out here somehow this attaches onto this guy um, I'm not exactly sure how but we will Figure it out. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. So it's on the lower set here somewhere. Well, it might be time then to actually. Is it time to attach this roof on? Yeah, it might be. Um, yeah, let's just go for that. Let's just. Why not? So, cool. So let's. Uh, Let's adjust the camera, get ready to put this roof on and then attach this guy. But at the same time, I'm going to cut out all the chain bits and the little cage so we can uh, assemble that fully and attach it um, all at the same time. So let's get ready. I figured before I switched everything around, we just, let's build the cage. So I cut, cut everything out that we're gonna need for the next couple stages. And uh, yeah, let's just get the cage going. So, hmm, so we got these, uh, yeah, we got the top lid of it that kind of, three pieces stacked together here and so we can just glue this hexagon together hex or oct maybe it's an octagon uh, ooh what orientation does it need to be at for the door to be on the right side shoot i don't know maybe we'll wait bah. All right, we can at least put this part in. And this much is aesthetic. Okay, so uh, this is pretty simple. Just glue um, around these two bits. It's like building those circle assemblies that we built in some other kits. Um, just a bunch of pegs and a bunch of flat pieces that are all going to kind of line up together. So just put glue on both on all these all the way around and 
And there's a whole pile of bits that are, they're all numbered the same. Um, this actually should go on top. All right. And this one on the bottom. Okay. Now, oops. Just try and line up the rest of them. All right. And just keep going all the way around. And all these little details really make this kit in particular. I mean, in terms of, I mean, it's all fashion, right? It just looks cool, but man, it's going to add so much flavor to the board. This is going to be a good roost for a Vindicare Assassin for sure. All right, so there's that part. Now, now we have to get to make the door for this thing. And the door is made with all these little bits. Um, ooh, I'm actually missing some pieces. Let's, right here, let's pull them out real quick. Piece number 170, come to me. All right. So I figure actually we're going to reverse engineer this thing. So we'll build it, build it separately from the cage and then we'll attach it to it. Okay. So I'm just going to take two of the, um, the arms with the pegs and attach them in here. And then there's the single piece that we just cut out, the 170. Let's attach those. Cool. Okay, now let's do the same for the other one. Beauties. All right, get the great, and then the last piece here. Cool. So that's that's helpful because now we know how far apart these things need to go, and I think they just kind of stick on the outside like this. So, yeah, I need to find the appropriate height and stuff for them. Something like that, right? Okay. How do I mark that? Let's, let's just hold this there. I'm just kind of eyeball it up here. All right. Oops. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, this is helping. Good. There we go. So, oops. Shoot, moved because they stuck together. Okay, so yeah, something like that. Great. Now let's do the other one on the other side. That was a pretty good strategy. Just like line up the door so that it fits on this axis here. 
Mm, and then line up the arms after, right? That one was easy. And the second one. The trick is making uh, making it flush here where the uh, yeah, where it joints. Amazing. Okay, so those are both done. Okay, well, these two. Let's put some glue on here here. Here and here. Okay, and we want the doors open on this, eh? Is that the idea? Seems to be the idea. Is that the idea? Yeah, totally. Okay. Hmm, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. So now I guess we can leave this for a moment. And we really do now. Oh, oh no. We can do this part. We can attach this chain, I imagine. So how does it go? Probably has to go under here. Yeah. All right, and then, well, like I'm saying, we should attach these three pieces first. Oh, oh this is cool. Yeah, this looks really cool. How does it go? Hmm. Does it just go in the middle and like line up? I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, it must be something like that. Okay, well. <laughs> Let's just shove some glue in there and go with it. Um. There we go. Something like that. Got a little chain going. Cool. And now we got a whole bunch of these individual links. Ugh, that uh, <laughs> have to go in here, eh? Well, that's how it goes. So, so that's what we do. Looks like it might be a little bit finicky, but again, each of these little details is totally worth it. I have a feeling in about 20 seconds, I have a lot of super glue on my fingers. <laughs> pushing them so far through like I think I just did just now I actually get an even gap on both sides of it ok 
Okay. Don't push it so far through this time. <laughs> Not bad. There we go. That one was good. <clears throat> yeah, perfect. Nailed it on that one. Almost done. Oop. Looks like the glue is kind of run out over here. It does absorb into the wood pretty fast, so it's understandable. Good. Last two chain links. All right. Bam. And there it is. It's the last single chain link. One side. Other side. Done. Beautiful. That's a cool hook. That's a nice feature right there. Love it. Okay, let's get glue. Put it on the top end of the, uh, the spools here. The crane, the... Oh my goodness, what are those called? Don't remember. Okay, there's that. Awesome. Yes, now we really need to get this all together so we can figure out exactly where the facing of this is going to end up. So let's change the camera angle, get set up to uh, really fall. We're in the, we're in the final stages, folks. Exciting. And here we are. So this is the freak tower in its entirety. It is super tall. Awesome. All right. So I kind of have this in dry fit mode right now. Um, yeah. I'll just glue it on, eh? Or no, should I not glue this on right now? Should I paint it separately? Oh, I think maybe I should. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, that's all right, because I at least know the orientation of this now. So that we can glue on these things. Um. Hmm. Is it glue on like here? Uh, let me just take a look real quick, quick at exactly where this is supposed to go. Here or like here. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. So I figured it out. So I want this thing. You want it running, um, uh, I guess, parallel with the open face of this. The handle running, that is. Okay. Oops. Okay, hold that down for a minute. Okay. Cool. Now, I looked at the images, and I want this thing. Just hook it on. I want this thing hanging right in this blast area. So, definitely not there. It's definitely here. I want it high up. Hmm. Well, let's just put some glue on and roll with it. So, get our glue on there. And I think that's that. And I'll leave this separate because then I can paint it separate, which would be nice. The freak can chill up here. 
And cool. All right, so yeah, we're gonna keep this guy separate. Good idea, we'll keep this separate for now. Um, so I think all we have to do is just like some of the random little details and like antennas and stuff on this thing. So let's pull out all those pieces, get them ready to go and finish this puppy off. Okay, so the last stages to finish this all off involve building some spikes for the floor here, um, some, uh, some steel uh, beams to come up on the floor on the top of it, and then also some crazy uh, antenna zappy things to go on the roof. Um, and then a, a, a crank for the, uh, for the whole crane thingy. So I'll show you how to put together one of each of them and, uh, and then we'll just, we'll snap through uh, building the rest and then we'll attach them together on camera, okay? So first things first, one of these steel rebars, you know, just put, uh, put glue in there, put the points all on the same end. Pretty simple. And a little bit more glue and you should have, uh, I think it's three of these total. There you go. So there's one of those. You can set that off to the side. These spikes are pretty cool construction right here. So they are uh, a like a cross hatch system here, like a cross beam. Or they, yeah, I don't know what you call that, but they, they fit together like that an X pattern, something, and then they fit into a little base so they, they can stand up. So pretty simple, just uh, just glue those together. So we'll get some glue sitting in the middle. And slide that piece in there. And get some glue down on the bottom end, stick it in the base. So there you go, so that's one of those spikes. And so you can make the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Um, the antennas are pretty crazy. So what I do is just throw some glue up each side and they got these little ridges. So you take the fattest circle piece that, that comes with it on the little, it's on like its own little sprue. And then <clears throat> each of the little ridges helps these, um, I don't know, bits of the array um, slot in at certain intervals. Go. There we are. Just top up the glue back on the top bit. Um, now with the last two ones, make sure you grab the, uh, the wider the wider spaced tiny circle first because they're pretty much the same size of a, of a circle but the uh, the peg area is is a different size so watch for that um, and then take the larger uh, the larger flat circle stick that in the middle and then take the smaller flat circle stick it in the middle And then you can get some glue and stick it to the base. All right, and there you go. So there are four of those. So you can go ahead and build all those. And then lastly, we have this wheel mechanism. So you have uh, a circle with a hole in it for the bottom, and then you have three blank circles that are just gonna stack up, then two uh, hollow circles, and then the, the crank wheel. Okay, so just trying to keep them all in line with each other is gonna be the trick for this. Um, there we go. Oops. All right. Sweet. Now the very hollow circles just need some glue on the outside.
We are minutes away, people, minutes away. Boom. Okay, so there's that. I wonder why they made it like this. It's a little bit strange. Okay, so go ahead, build all of your, assemble all your little bits, and then we'll attach them on. Okay, and we're back. So let's start off by putting the steel columns on. Um, and they just kind of like go underneath. I don't know. Yeah, there's not like a specific uh, way, I think, that they go. Um, so let's just like stick one there. Because why not? And let's like stick another one there. Why not? And then maybe we'll like stick another one sticking out here or something. Yeah. The back side. Here it goes. Okay. That's pretty cool. You see the one I put at the back there? Awesome. that separate just check and make sure it still was okay so let's let's just attach this little wheel so it's supposed to go like right there so let's just do that oh, why not seems large <laughs> all right now <coughs> we can get all these spikes on I think they just go somewhat randomly around. I kind of want to keep them more to the edges. You can still fit model bases on there. Blank spots and edges. Mm hmm. In the back there, why not? And stick one. Somewhere over here. Yeah. Pretty good. This guy's gonna come up right up at the front. I want to be able to fit as many models up on top of this as possible. So, um, yeah, cool. There, one there, and the final one right there. Beautiful. Hopefully, my big head didn't get in the way there. Okay, so. Now there's a few, um, a few little ditties that go on the roof. Uh, we can kind of put them wherever we want, just like them spikes. So, stick a little glue on. Stick it on the roof. That's pretty sweet. These bits are fun. I like them. All right, we'll stick one right there. Right there. And the one a little higher up. Some variety. Okay, sweet. Oh boy, it's done. Amazing. Okay, let's, uh, I know I have the one model here, but I'm going to get a much better camera angle on this and we'll stack up some models around, do size comparison, review and all that, and then close this puppy down. So great job, guys. Let's be back. So here it is, all assembled. What a sweet kit. Like that, it was a challenge, but it was fun 
and man it's like it's just different than any other piece of terrain that i've ever made before so well done guys well done tabletop scenics there it is take a look gander all the way around beautiful piece of terrain now in terms of function you definitely get great elevation for like sniper unit or something like that um, and then in terms of practical function for infantry so most most of the issues are does it block line of sight from the ground so it'll definitely block infantry line of sight okay um, so you could you could stack up a squad of about five or six dudes there so you see the freak um, you could jump up here get some cover or you could be right up in the roost <coughs> for line of sight advantage now question always is is uh what about vehicles right and so there's a rhino um it's exactly the same height as a rhino so this infantry here from this perspective wouldn't be able to see that um so it would block line of sight a little bit but not by much like that's basically the only spot where you wouldn't be able to see that rhino um, so in terms of line of sight blocking on the ground this guy is basically only good for infantry and giving yourself a little bit of cover okay um, standing up, you see there's a Knight Helverin, right? There's no way this guy's hiding in this piece of terrain. I mean, yeah, there's, yeah, there's no way. No way he's hiding. Belisarius Call, on the other hand, he's a little bit bigger, right? So like, I don't know, weirder models like this may be able to hide. If you count this as line of sight blocking, um, he may be able to hide there. Let me just get down and look. Yeah, so you could fit him, you could fit him behind this if you counted this area as line of sight blocking, but um, if you didn't, if you just did true line of sight, you could totally see him basically from anywhere. So this piece of terrain, uh, infantry are gonna get some, some huge value out of this, um, but uh, don't expect much for your vehicles or large, large models. Um, it looks sweet, it's gonna add tons of character to the table. And, uh, and yeah, it actually doesn't take up too big of a footprint, right? So this is only about, um i don't know six month six inch sorry uh, uh diameter across so it's about as yeah five five to six inches um circle basically that it takes up so it's really tall but but it's but it's really small so it doesn't doesn't take up a lot of space on the board so that's an advantage um because yeah i mean what kind of small terrain pieces actually get you this kind of height so that's pretty cool um yeah guys that's it fun to build it actually uh, went together a lot quicker than I thought it was going to often these kits can take a really really long time and yeah this one just this one just snapped together it's really awesome so there you go guys let's wrap this video up all right guys there you have it the orc freak tower this like look how tall that is ah that's like <laughs> I mean <coughs> it's probably about 15 maybe even 18 inches tall ah, no not 18 that's like 15 inches tall. This is a really cool piece of terrain to jazz up your orc table. You also checked out the freak, the man who lives in the tower himself, causing all sorts of psychic ruckus um, from above and making his orc clan buddies real nervous about being around him. And so there you go. So the new orc uh, freak tower, along with the classic Cromlech orc freak model. So. Guys, amazing MDF kit to add to any wargaming table. Um, it, uh, it's great for 40K. You could use it totally for other things as well, but it certainly has a, an orky flair to it. So definitely 40K orc terrain is what it's meant to be for, but you could use it for other things if you want to. Um, guys, check out all the new stuff from Tabletop Scenics. Uh, it is Orktober at the moment, and they just released a whole bunch of stuff for their Orkenberg um, line of terrain. And so... Uh, special time check out the links in the video description below and guys we are in counter wargaming so we would love if you could support everything that we do here at the channel as well like teaching you how to build your mdf train um doing painting tutorials battle reports uh all sorts of fun stuff and so guys jump down to the patreon link below you can support us for as little as a dollar a video um, if you don't want to do that you can simply subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notifications when our future content comes out and uh and you could also buy a cool t-shirt kind of wargaming t-shirt that'd be fun you know 
hook it up hook up the swag um guys i think that's it plenty more to come we are going to paint uh this terrain as well so stay tuned for that video to come out and guys word on the street is we're giving away a free freak tower and a free freak so find the find the giveaway video that'll tell you how you can enter um It'll be like the one posted just before, or just after this. And so it'll be easy to find. Um, find the giveaway video, enter the giveaway, and uh, possibly win yourself a free one of these Freak Towers, which is super cool, super fun. So thank you guys very much. My name is Adam, and we are Encounter Wargaming. We'll see you at our next encounter. <laughs>